like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars now let me tell you something i have learned when you operate under an open heavens listen there are dimensions follow me please let me have your attention when your heavens are open there are dimensions whoever comes within the spiritual climate of your open heavens within that time they are with you they will tap into the possibilities that your open heaven provides that means i can go to come gentlemen i can go to visit this gentleman and he has no business receiving favor but because i carried a spiritual climate i just entered his house i came to visit you and someone who has no business calling him will call him he's been manipulated by the climates that i'm working under it's true There are men who are blessed because other men are there. There are men who are oppressed because other men are there. Jonah entered the boat of people who should arrive safely. They were meant to arrive safely. But because a man who carried a climate of disobedience and Jonah kept quiet as if he didn't know what was happening. Jonah, your Jonah was in a boat. And people were there and they started losing properties that means there are men that carry climates when a man who carries a close heaven comes to you it can affect you listen please listen to what I'm saying Jonah sat down inside the boat while they were throwing their properties Jonah kept quiet and then they were about to cast lots and Jonah said look don't waste your time I'm the reason I'm carrying something that is making remember they didn't believe or didn't whether they believed in Jonah or not the climate was working Jesus sent the 70 with his climate he said go and they returned and said ah master even the demons were subject to us in your name and he says do not rejoice just because of this in other words this is not your making i gave you an atmosphere to go with your joy is that your name now is written that means you now have access to also carry that climate let that be your joy not that you are moving with another person's climate but now you have become a partaker yourself your name is written you can now carry a distinct spiritual climate he said that should be your joy Jesus is teaching here you see that so you can get into a place and bring what was given to you in the secret place you don't have to say this is what was given it speaks grace speaks anointing speaks let me tell you my brothers and my sisters if you carry real fire it speaks because you see there are angelic beings that are protectors of God's reputation upon your life the Bible says that these angels confirm the words of his messengers they don't confirm your word For provided you are in that spiritual office and ranking they have been mandated to protect the integrity of God committed to your life so you will find out that the possibilities that happen in the atmosphere with one man the same God is there yes but the possibilities are not the same because the spiritual climates by which we operate in they are not the same the possibilities the system of defense that can stand for one person may not happen for the other you may insult another person and go scot free you insult another person and you will not last two days everything leaves you because there are angels is in Kedas. they defend the integrity of god committed to people you see listen this ministry you see 
there are covenants and ordinances and there are angels assigned to signify that revelation revelations 1 verse 1 it says the revelation of jesus which he gave unto his servant john he said he sent it and signified it by his angels angels signify revelations they confirm that it is true this anointing was given to this individual there are graces that were given to me and if i make utterances that resonate with those graces there are angelic beings mandated to validate that it is true if i make claims over graces i were not given you will be surprised how it will look as if i'm not anointed are you getting are you getting this now please get this this night's message is for impartation just get it after koinonia and just quietly sit down listen to it in the night and just soak your spirit and see what happens i really believe that what is happening to us is impartation what is an impartation a transference of possibilities that's it transference listen god does not transfer spiritual possibilities by distributing it to all men god finds a man and enters a covenant with that man to represent a spiritual portal on earth by which men can access that possibility so that anyone that will enter into that possibility will do it in alignment to that man and the covenant he has with god that's how spiritual possibilities are distributed god finds men uniquely builds their spirit enters a covenant that allows god to flow in that dimension through that one man then he mandates creation to align with the grace and the covenant upon that individual he said look unto your father abraham you will never prosper on earth neglecting the man abraham he is god's idea you will never rout the blessing of the spirit even though you come through christ the bible says galatians 3 29 it says and if ye be christ's then are ye abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise so even in christ he still routes you back to the man the patriarch abraham these are the mysteries that this kingdom operates in. they are not opinions no And those who have done it consciously or not find out that suddenly the realm of the spirit is not particularly biased to them they may not be so smart but by the foolishness of of the understanding spiritual things then they step into it there are angels in this city once it is Friday and once it is koinonia time remember the Bible says the angels are the gatherers they move around and they war against the forces of darkness that will try to stop people from coming. It's a covenant. It's an ordinance. Please sit down. I don't know if I should continue or we'll just, we'll just pray. I really don't know what God is doing this night, but I'm, I'm happy about it. So I said, the possibilities, listen. <clears throat> Do you know why we sacrifice so much to be able to host superior dimensions of God's presence and walk under an open heavens? Because our alignment is proof of love. We can carry your climate and borrow someone your spiritual climate so that the testimonies that have been long overdue, your climate affords God an opportunity to visit the person fast because of your presence. He said if you enter a house, meaning you entered with certain things if they receive you let that thing you came with rest on them but if they refuse let that means that thing on you is a living thing it can move it can return back to you and you dust your feet and leave them with their closed heavens my brothers and my sisters let me tell you i wish that what i were telling you were a lie i would have just apologized to say sorry but it is true this is not a call to idolize men don't get me wrong i'm teaching you open heavens the possibilities that accrue to a man who pays the price to walk under an open heavens is a wonder nothing short of a wonder